When it comes to hurricanes, each one's impacts are a little bit different, but the wind speeds that we talk about along the Saffir Simpson scale, those are very specific and the damage caused in those categories kind of predictable. So let me show you. Let's start off with a category one storm and the damage here, not too bad. A couple of shingles fall off. You can have some palm fronds bending in the wind, but everything basically remains intact. Category two, that's where you really start to feel it. Look at the windows of the house. They can be hit from debris from the outside and already start breaking in a category two. Your trees are significantly bent over in the wind and the siding of the house itself can break, flapping there in the wind, adding to those eerie noises inside. Category three, I've heard only a category three, but it's not only anything except really bad news. In a category three, you can have the door of the house blown in because the winds get so strong. You can have the roof of the house start to flap up and down in the wind because it can lift off those weak points and a lot of those trees start to fall. Category four, the damage is even worse. You get most trees falling, most of your windows breaking, most of your shingles fly away, and then Cat 5 is as high as the category scale goes. By Cat 5, no shingles remain anywhere nearby. The holes in the roof get so big that the walls of the house start to fall because they're not attached to anything anymore. There won't be any trees up in the neighborhood. That's just catastrophic damage. But again, that's just from the wind. And there are other impacts from hurricanes, and they all vary through the season. So stick with the Weather Channel to keep you safe. The tropics head towards your neck of the